Hi, I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Today we're going to talk about how to remove the salt from your brakes, your brake rotors, brake pads, brake calipers. As we drive in the northeast or in the salt belt, you're going to have spray or debris from the cars in front of you or even from your own car collect on your car. The byproduct from the salt will corrode your car prematurely, especially the brakes. The brake rotor is an exposed piece of steel in a hostile environment. Keeping the salt off the brakes will make the brake rotors last longer. The water that you put on the brakes won't corrode the brake rotors nearly as fast as the water with the salt in it. As you can see, this car has road debris and more than likely has some salt in it, as we had some poor weather the other day. When I wash the brakes off, I'm not going to be afraid how much water I put in, but I want to get it through the wheel and onto the brake rotor, which is here. And I'm also going to spray it directly onto the brake caliper. After I do this, I'm going to be very careful to test my brakes. When the brakes are wet, the stopping power is diminished considerably. I'm also going to want to be sure not to wash these brakes when the temperature is below 32 degrees, as the water will freeze on the brakes and our brakes won't function at all. So when I apply the water, I'm going to shoot it directly in on the brake rotor. Starting at the top, I'm going to watch for the water that comes out of the bottom to make sure I get all of my debris out. Now the brake rotor, I can only see the outside. The inside of the rotor needs to be washed as well. So I'm going to be sure to get plenty of water on the back side of that brake rotor. Once I feel as though all the debris has been washed off, I'm going to take the steering wheel and turn the wheel all the way out, and I can wash the inside of the brake rotor. It's not as easy as it may sound. Inside there's a protective covering called a dust shield. We'll have to get above and behind that dust shield, and that's where most of the debris is going to accumulate. And just remember, be cautious after you wash your brakes. You want to take it for a test drive and understand your braking power is going to be diminished because your brakes are wet, and never do it below freezing. This is how to keep salt off of your brakes. I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts.